Dr Kat Arney and I'm going to be looking into the latest research that could significantly extend human lifespan and maybe even help us cheat death and live forever. Lots of people want to know if you could maybe make a human grow a tail or something like that, if we could have super senses like a, a bat's ears or a, a cat's eyes to see in the dark. It's not really as simple as that. I am absolutely and endlessly fascinated by how we go from one cell, one egg cell, that's smaller than a head of a pin, and grow it into a, a baby or a mouse or a fish or a plant. How does that happen? I'm uh, going to do a quick survey. Hands up if you have some stuff in your house that is just there. <laughs> because the effort of getting rid of it, you know, if I had the world's most neat, clean, tidy office, that would be amazing. But the effort of actually tidying my office is unbelievably hard. It's much better just to like put it all in a box and just leave it there. It's not hurting anyone. It's not in the way. If it starts to get in the way or if it starts smelling or, you know, I really need that box for something else, sure, I'll empty it. But it's the same with your genome. Evolution is not this perfect winnowing engine that gets rid of everything all the time it doesn't need. We're all full of all sorts of variations in our DNA that make us unique. You know, we've all got different sized livers because of our genetics, but we're not racist about people's livers, are we? So they're on the inside. So I think there's a lot that we can learn about how our genes make us who we are, how they interact with our environment, the nature and the nurture. And, uh, and then there's some really weird stuff. I've got 30 seconds to talk about cock. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you've ever had sex with a chimp, <laughs> but if you were to do so, you would notice something. <laughs> and you'd also notice this. Um, but we know from our previous experience with cats that they are bastards. <laughs> and uh, these engineered skills will then enable them to pick locks, <laughs> to obtain and load firearms. <laughs> Uh, and ultimately overthrow the human race. And given that cats are already the dominant species on the internet, I feel it's only a matter of time before they actually assume this role in real life. And I, for one, welcome our feline experts. <laughs> <laughs> the difference between a great recipe and one that's full of mistakes is the difference between a delicious cake and a complete kitchen disaster. But in the case of your DNA, the recipe that makes you, you, it could be the difference between life and death. So, you know, many of us are familiar with uh, the DNA double helix. It's that kind of spiral that advertisers use to go, ooh, science. And, uh, and we hear about genes all the time. We read about them in the papers. They're the things that make our eyes blue. They make our hair curl. They make us fat. They give us cancer. We know cancers of the mouth, the food pipe, the larynx, the voice box, those are also increased uh, by alcohol because you drink it down your face. Yeah. What's clear is that we need to banish the idea that our genome is a fixed, deterministic blueprint that controls how we turn out right from the moment when egg and sperm meet. Being alive and existing in our environment is what constructs us in all our wobbly, unique and mysterious glory. Enjoy it. Thank you.